It was a disaster because not that we didn't get along because we yeah. got along so well. It's just, again, you get to see a different side to them where I didn't realize, um, I don't, I'm, I'm not putting out names. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. um, oh, honey. <laughs> Welcome to Oh Honey Podcast, where you get the sticky and the sweet with Summer and Amanda and Leanne V, Woo! who has the cutest pajamas, <laughs> and Thank I love you. that over shirt. Thank you guys. If you guys don't know what she's wearing because you're listening, she has this amazing unicorn pastel onesie, onesie on with, rain, with unicorn slippers and... <laughs> And then there's like little, it's like unbuttoned like with this like top. Oh yeah, I actually yeah. got these buttons put in. This was, I wore this on my you birthday. You had them put in. Yeah, they're like the iridescent buttons. And also the Damn hoodie it. has like, I don't know, it's the <gasps> eyes. Oh, rhinestones yeah. too. Uh, I kind of went down this one. Did uh, what was you that? You put the rhinestones on? No, my friend did for my birthday. I actually did like a onesie, onesie birthday party. Yeah. And so I went all out. That's so, so When fun. you said to come in pajamas, I'm like, okay. That's what I think like, everything I should be. <laughs> everything should just always be onesies. Yes. That's how it's I, okay. I went to, when I got the donuts today, everyone was like, oh my God. Oh yeah. I've never got so many compliments. And she, <laughs> by the so way, onesies. well also you're wearing a unicorn onesie picking up a vegan. <laughs> assorted donuts that mm -hmm. look like from it looks incredible and that's what you she brought to set every today. day so she comes to do a favor for us and be on our podcast and brings us gifts like that's how leanne works she's so. amazing <laughs> no, you guys are amazing i'm happy to be here so excited to talk about love and relationships yes, yes. We all, it's always fun to talk about that and Girl leanne talk. by the way is an amazing artist thank well, you well in multiple things you you're painting now yes what doesn't she do? Yeah, she's a singer, <laughs> and she's a content creator, and you do beauty, obviously. Like, you're always yeah. so put together, so it's like she's super talented. Well, we Thank just you. saw another podcast talking about how she's always, you weren't even on it. We were like, her makeup was, yeah. so who was that with her? Uh, uh, that? Was Amy it Batch. Jenna? Je no. No? I don't know, someone. We are like, you always have, like, perfect makeup done. Oh, thanks, yeah. guys. Oh, so cute. Thank yeah. you. I mean, I've always loved makeup, watching my mom put on her makeup, and then it's just art to me, too, and I think that's why I enjoy painting. Like, the reason why I started painting was um, basically I was moving into a new home with Dawn, and we were wondering what artwork we were going to put up, and we went to this art festival, Freeze Art Festival in L.A., and then we fell in love with, like, the art, and some of the art pieces were really weird looking, and we're like, man, we could try this, and his mom does art, too, so oh, I didn't know we that. ended up going and grabbing some art supplies, and then, boom, we just started painting That's every day. That's such a great since. way to bond, too. <laughs> it's relaxing. You guys have to try it. Yeah, you have to like come therapy. over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want to, I want, I need artwork. So yeah. I'm like, I, yeah. I think I've DM'd you like 20 times and commented no, I got on you. all I got of you. your I know photos. The colors now. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I need this. It's She's so just fun. like ignore, ignore, ignore. No, definitely not ignore. <laughs> She's gonna have some good artwork from us. Yes. Forever Art Gallery is what yeah. we started. So Aww. cool. We'll make sure yeah. to put so the cute. link in the description of our YouTube yes. too. Thank for you. you. Thanks, but guys. But you and Don have been dating for how long? Three years. Three years. Yeah, it's really? Crazy. Three years. That's crazy. What? Three years of friendship and then three years of dating now. It's crazy. That's awesome. See, yeah. Johannes and I were friends before we started dating, too. And I remember, I, yeah. I feel like that just makes it's it... It's the best. Honestly, I think that when you don't plan and you just date someone or just be friends with someone and you get to tr show them your true self and you don't expect it because you didn't think you were going to date Johannes. No. I didn't think I was going to date Don. And then it, timing is everything, you mm -hmm. know? It just so happens to, you know, happen. You're like, oh, it's so crazy. I'm say. dating my friend. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's weird. There's hope for the guys in the friend zone. Yes, in the friend zone, you can get out. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, Don is a model, right? Yeah. And does He's he a model. He's also an artist, an yeah. actor. Yeah. So, yeah, he does a lot Multi -talented of Multi-talented, too. <laughs> And does that help with like doing those type of like meditational activities together? Like, does that help with the relationship? You think? I think that doing things together that you guys both enjoy helps a lot. And it's so important to be with someone that you're compatible with. I think that's the key thing because everyone has their own things that they like and enjoy. And if you meet somebody and you happen to enjoy the same things, of course you guys get along so much better. Mm -hmm. You know, so compatibility is really important. I would say on the top of the list. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
100%. And what do you think about being friends with your exes? I think if you're, it depends how it ends. If it ended in a really bad way, it's hard to grow from that because you've become bitter mm -hmm. towards them. But if it was um, d like ended in a, a not negative way, more of like, you know, mutual, like I think, you, you know, we grew apart mm -hmm. and it's best that we part ways just for the sake of even having a friendship later on. Because I feel that the, to be mature, you have to, you know, grow from the past. Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. and. Don's friend was friends with his ex right now too. Like we're all cool with everybody. I'm friends with my ex. He's cool with my ex, and it's it's such a small world. Also, it's like you know I don't want any problems with anybody. I don't mm -hmm. really have any problems with anybody. I feel like everybody I'm cool with is cool with me f from before and now. So it's just nice to just have that kind of open friendship. Just that it's not like like. Unless Dawn fell away. Yeah. It always depends. If the girl <laughs> feels away, mm -hmm. guys, just don't do it. Just don't. Just out of the sake of their feelings, it's better to understand, you know, what your relationship is. And, you know, of course, if, you know, if Johannes was friends with his ex and you didn't like it, mm -hmm. you know, would he shouldn't. Yeah. You know, just the sake of the feelings. Yeah. Because he so cares. Of like, course. Of yeah. course. So. No, that makes sense. And then Don's does Don's mom live with you guys, or she's just in town, or like? No, she lives here now. He moved her from Minnesota. Oh, really? So she's here now, and she visits us every day. Yeah, because I see her all the too. time in like the content. Yeah. So, and your yeah. parents are here. You're super close with your family. Yeah, I moved them here. Uh, man, it's been a while now. I moved them here to LA and. Um, I was able to get them their first home in LA, so they live like five minutes away it's from like me. Dream, I so feel they like. come over all the time. Right? Yeah. I would love that. My mom would never move here. She's like, Summer, I moved away. There. She's like deathly scared of earthquakes. <laughs> we literally. Don anytime, says the same thing. She yeah. thinks like there's gonna be cracks and, on the right, floor. Right. Anytime like, she's here, crazy she's like, earthquake. Did you feel that? I'm like, no. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> I'm like, dude, it, it was nothing. Yeah. yeah. It's, so, I mean, it's not bad. Honestly, I've been in California my whole life. And I've never experienced a crazy earthquake. Knock on I that mean, wood. Not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So. But is it hard? Because I don't, like, I go home and I visit my family, like, all the time. Like, I go up from Miami to see them in Palm Beach. And I, when I go and see them, it's like, it's nice and I love it. And then I'm ready to, like, go back and go to work and, you know, mm -hmm. do my thing. Mm -hmm. But. For you, you're around family a lot. Yeah, I mean, there's a difference from going to visit family than having family visit you. Yeah. Um, my parents, I don't know, I think it's just being Filipino in our culture. I would live with my parents right now. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because before me and Don moved together, we were talking about you know getting a back house for your mom so that uh, she could live with us. And he was like, no, I don't want my mom to live with me. I love her, but I do not want her to live with me. And now like, Things changed. He was open to living with her. I right. think that it just depends on the person and also the relationship that you have with your parents. My parents are super cool. They are very supportive and they're not in my business. Like, what is this? What is that? And just, you know, interrupting my, you know, lifestyle. I think that if anything, they've only supported me and bring me nothing but happiness. And my mom cooks all the time. My dad, you know, does videos with me. So if anything, they've been just nothing but positive, you know, vibes towards me and Dawn and our relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's different if you have like a, a, an apartment, it's a little bit hard because you want that space. Confined right. area, yeah. yeah. But like having a, being able to have a back house or even living next door, I don't think it's bad. You know, for me, I again, I would live with my parents, but not everyone feels that way. Mm -hmm. it but it definitely depends on the parents. Cause some definitely, yeah, yeah. It depends on the parents. Yeah, for sure. Some are like a little invasive. A little bit too much, yeah. In, in <laughs> or maybe not supportive, or yeah, doesn't like the lifestyle yeah. you're living, or something. So you're like, yeah, yeah you feel judged. Or yeah. yeah, right, right. And another yeah. thing, like when I visit my family, um, I'm from Northern California. I was born in San Jose, raised in Modesto. Not a lot of people know where Modesto is, nope. but it's kind of like, it's five <laughs> hours away from here, okay. but uh, an North hour and a half from the Bay. Okay. Yeah. So whenever I visit there, I can only stay for like two, three days and I'm over it. Mm -hmm. I'm like ready to come home because there's nothing to do over there. Yeah. Like one mall, one freeway, it's nothing. Yeah. That's how I feel when I go to Colorado. I mean, there's probably a lot more happening. I don't really, but anytime I go there, I'm like, Okay, well, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, pictures. I love you. Bye. Yeah, love you. <laughs> but yeah. my mom comes out here a lot, so. 
That's good. Nice. I know you guys are like, she looks like your sister. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> when I say I'm like, that's not your mom. No way. I know, and she's, she's 54, so, sweet. so it's not like she's wow. like a young mom. Yeah. She's like, she, she looks, looks so incredible. good. She's, she's like the best person ever. That's though. amazing. <laughs> she's my that's best so friend. Awesome. So, like so I would live with my mom. She's yeah. kind of needy, but other than that. <laughs> so you want to hang out with She like needs my time. Like she needs she my mothers her mom. <laughs> yeah. But now she has a boyfriend, so I think oh, there you go. her like okay. attention won't be on me. Would you live with your mom if she had a boyfriend living with you too? That's Depends weird. on how big my house is. If I have yeah. Like a, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I if I had like a, a huge mansion house, I'd let my whole family live with me. But yeah. like, I need my own like side of the house, and then mm -hmm. you guys can be over there. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, I guess it's it is different for everybody. But would you was, live with your mom? Yeah, I would live with my mom. What if she had a boyfriend? She has a husband. <laughs> she doesn't have to say your um, stepdad. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, for yeah. sure. Like I did growing up, so yeah. I guess I can I could do yeah. it again. Yeah, you did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like I think the ultimate goal when you're growing in like just in life, you want to be able to give back to your parents. Right. And that's right. one of the best feelings in yes, the world. Is absolutely. like anytime you can help them, it's just like it's almost like you're not doing a nice thing because right, it feels right, so good. Right. You know. It was honestly a big accomplishment for me. That was a dream that I've always had. Because moving to LA, like I'm the youngest of three. I have two older sisters and You're the same. Yeah? Oh mm -hmm. that's right, you do. And so like a lot of people growing up, they're like, oh, Leanne's the baby. She lives in a bubble. Like she's so spoiled. She my her, my parents do everything for me, all this stuff, and she can't survive in LA. And of course, social media was not even an option. Mm -hmm. Like we had no idea that this was ever going to exist and become a career for all of us, you yeah. know? So moving out here, like I used to sell cars. I used to go on tour and sing backup mm -hmm. for another artist. I was hustling. I worked at my first job out here in LA was Island Burger oh, yeah? and then Volcano and then a tanning <laughs> salon job. And then I sold cars. Yeah. And doing buying videos you with sold you. Cars. Yeah. I mean, you sold cars. You like worked at a, like, like, a car dealership? I was hustling, yeah, in Burbank. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, so awesome. they say if you can sell a car, you can sell anything. And I'm like, you yeah. know what? I'm going to sell a car. I sold a bunch. So it was it was a fun job, but I knew it wasn't mm -hmm. the job for me because I had so many dreams, you know, that I wanted to accomplish. But yeah, you need to you <laughs> needed to express yourself. And then yeah. this is like allowing you to do all of that. So. Yeah, it's insane. But um, yeah, basically, I, I forgot my point, but <laughs> my um, being the youngest, you know, that that wasn't the, the actual plan. But moving to L.A., you have to be open to opportunities and things don't always have to happen the way you want. And you have to be OK with it, you know, because we have this, you know, plan in our brain where we're like, OK, I want to do this. This is how it's going to happen. This is what the Hollywood dream. This is what the Hollywood dream is all about. And really, like, realistically, there's no game plan. You can try to have plans, but there's always so many things that pop up and opportunities you just have to be open to and just keep working, keep going, you mm -hmm. know, and working with people like you guys, like people that are hustlers that support you and believe in you. I think that's the number one thing. That's why my parents were so, so such a big, important part in my life because they believed in me since day one. Yeah. You know, they, and they didn't want me to be a nurse. They went like, you're Filipino, you have to be in the medical field. Like really? they were super supportive of me, you know, going to Hollywood and, you know, chasing my dreams. Your dad so. is in a ton of your videos, <laughs> which are the best, by the way. Thank you. He loves it. It's uh, like dad goals. Everyone's are so sweet. Thank you. They yeah. just came. They just dropped me off. Actually. Really? I here. freaking love that. <laughs> like, how cool is that? Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, like, it's so funny. You came in. Yeah, even growing up. I know. I, I like, should have yeah, brought them in too. To <laughs> yeah, you're fine. It's funny because so people sweet. think that I make my parents do. They're like, "Do you force your dad to do this?" I'm like, "Honestly, he's pitching he new ideas. Loves it exactly." <laughs> it's like, "Can we shoot? Can we dance? Can you teach me some new moves?" Oh, I love oh, it. Oh, so cute. And that's yeah. like such great time together. Yeah, too. it it's really like, is. And then you're just building those memories and things that you can like, I know, look back on. I know, you know, you guys on. can look back and have these videos. So yeah. yeah. Can, and do a yeah. whole couple. You probably have like a movie's worth of <laughs> dance footage together. How many videos so do you much. think he's been in? Oh, my God. Uh, I don't even know. Definitely. It's a movie. Yeah. I would say it's a long, long. Yeah, fully produced. For real. Fully <laughs> yeah. produced. We did like a whole series too on, remember Zeus? Oh we yeah, did the whole, on the Zeus Network. Yeah. Shout out to the Zeus Network. Shout out to Zeus. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super great. So it's fun. I love having them involved. I just love working with my friends and family. I think it's just organic and natural, and you don't even realize it's work. You, you know? keep a lot of the same friends, too, yeah. throughout the throughout life and yeah. as you're as you're growing like yeah. I, I notice that you really stick with your with your crew right I think in LA you you know a lot of people say that everyone's fake out here and you won't find like real people and the crazy thing is it's true and it's not I feel that there's a lot of real people out here but some people change through the industry because they're trying to become something that they're not. They're trying to impress people. They're getting distracted and influenced the wrong way. I, that's why they say when you move to LA, you have to have a strong mind. You mm -hmm. have to know your foundation. You have to have family and friends that, that you know, will keep you grounded. And I think the friends that I've met, like that was honestly my number one prayer was like, God, please send me some real friends because mm -hmm. I'm all about friendships. Like growing up in high school, all I cared about was hanging out with my friends. My mom was like, dang, you have people come on shifts, like one yeah. comes in and another leaves and another one comes in. <laughs> but I love being surrounded by positive energy and friends and I always create with friends. Even in high school, like from talent shows, I would do choreography, performances. I just was always creative and surrounded with friends. So moving out here, it was so important for me to surround myself with good friends. And when I find them, I'm like, don't yeah. leave me, stay like here. Me like, forever. let's be together yeah. forever. Yeah. 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 But you really are a great friend. You're Thank so you. supportive and giving. Like, you even come in today with the donuts. I, know. Like, it's I think like, it's a Filipino thing, too. Yeah, like, I guess. like, yeah, <laughs> food. Here, eat. Here's some food. Yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. last time when she first came over too, she she brought me at like a housewarming gift also. Oh, that's like, right. But let's oh, that's dive into yes. our honey pot. Ooh. So this is where we, we describe the honey pot. So like people, fans can de um, email us and like mm -hmm. stories, um, like questions, like like things that they want advice on yeah. or problems that they have, yeah. and we answer them. Mm -hmm. so okay. It is usually anonymous. Nice. These ones look like they're anonymous. And they can like put their names if they want, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we just we like them to keep it anonymous too. Yeah, yeah. I know. They're like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's all good. good. Yeah, <laughs> but if you guys want to send in your diary entries, you can at diary at ohoneydiary.com. Yes, yes, that's awesome. a fun time. So you can do the first oh honey question. Oh honey, okay. Hey girls, so I started dating this girl and she's really cool and I like her a lot. The only thing is that she is pursuing a career in singing. And to be honest, she doesn't have a lot of musical talent. I think she loves performing, but she doesn't have a great voice. How do I get her to stop pursuing this as a career? I'm fine if it's a hobby, but I just don't want her to embarrass herself. Ooh, that's hard. Mm. Because when you love somebody or you care about someone, you want what's best for them. This is the thing that I've learned. Like, you never know what may happen for anyone. Like, especially in this day and age, like, some people don't have the best voices, don't have the best talent, but if your work ethic is, like, on point, you have a chance, I would say. So the advice I would give to you is, you know, be supportive, give the, the advice that you feel, but be understanding and open to her dreams, because if this is something that she's super passionate about, you want to be supportive. You don't want to, you know, discourage her, because that's your, you know, you love her, so... I would just say support it and, you know, give her the right support and constructive criticism and, you know, just make sure she's, her work ethic is on point. So that would yeah. be my advice. Yeah. You could just push her towards, you know, and then vocal honestly, lessons. Yeah. <laughs> but like, hey, I'm going. You want to come? Yes. She yes. might um, get, like, resentful. Like, if he stopped her from pursuing her, like, dream, then if she I was like, okay, I'm not going to do it, her whole life she's going to, Put it on him, like, right, right. like re resentment, like, oh, I mm -hmm. didn't do this, and I could have been something, but you stopped me. And so it can become a be jealousy thing yeah. too. They're like, oh, you were jealous of me. That's why. Yeah. yeah. When like, they do become want, successful, because they did be go all, to the classes. You didn't want me to be a superstar <laughs> yeah. and forget about you. <laughs> yeah. 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 I agree. Well, so support your friend, influence them to learn, and then. Yeah. Encourage that's about them. It. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was easy. Let's do yeah. the next one. Jump into it. All right. Hi. Oh, honey. I'm 19, and my boyfriend and I have been discussing wanting to move in with each other. At first, I was reluctant about it, but he really wants to and thinks it would be a good idea. It'll save us money, 
less time driving, and so on. I am just afraid because I don't know for sure if he is the one, even though I do love him. I'm too afraid that if we break up down the line, it will be a much bigger ordeal because one of us will have to move out, and I also don't want to have to figure out which one would. Or who knows? We could stay together forever. What should I do? Bite the bullet and move in together? Hoping it will last. Question mark. Okay, my personal advice, don't do it. Like, please do not do it. Do not move in with him for the sake of just your life because I've heard many stories where people move in together. Even my own sisters moved in before marriage. I'm not saying wait for marriage. I'm just saying my idea basically was I want to wait when you know you're in love with this person because eventually you'll marry them, right? But if you're even questioning your love for that person, don't even do it. Even if it's convenient because, oh, I'm going to save money, we're going to live together. Honestly, it's a, it's a whole different game when you move in with someone. When you live with someone, you get to see a whole different side to them. Not saying that he's not showing you his true colors, but it's just different. When you move in with someone, you get to see you know, their personal space on how they live and what they do, and sometimes it makes it worse. I would say wait it out and um, fall in love with the person first. You know, Take your time, there's no rush. I feel that when you take your time, it just always ends up being a better choice. So um, again, my advice, take your time. Um, and yeah, don't rush into moving in with like anyone, a, a right? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I could barely live yeah. with a girl sometimes. Like, yeah. I actually had one roommate, and it was a disaster. Really? And that's my best friend from high school. Oh no! And, um, Why was that it so was bad? a disaster? Because not that we didn't get along, because we yeah. got along so well. It's just, again, you get to see a different side to them where I didn't realize. Um, I don't. I'm, I'm not putting out names. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, their cleanliness. Like I, I'm a very neat person, and mm -hmm. I like things left a certain way. I don't like dishes piled up to the roof. Like I just, I like to keep things clean. I like to. If it's messy, sometimes it's okay. But if it's always messy mm -hmm. and there's food left out, like I can't. You know, it's you just and hard. You would be great. Roommates. Even when we talk <laughs> about it, like, yeah. girl, can you please and make it a joke? And yeah. and they still don't do it. Oh, yeah. Then it's like you know what? It's the way they are. It's their it's their habits. You yeah. know, it's their life that they you know their lifestyle like they just like that you yeah. know it's just the way that they're raised or whatever it may be there's nothing wrong with it it's just again you want to make sure you're so in love with that person that those things that end up happening you can deal with yeah you know? it's so worth it communication is everything. yeah you got to make sure it's worth it yeah. yeah do you and Don live together we did this is our first year living together and oh I thought you always did no no oh, our whole three years like we've always lived apart I lived in I'm not going to say where I live, but yeah. I lived here and then he lived there and we would always be together yeah. um, all the time. But this year was our first year living together. And I honestly wanted to wait um, a little longer, but it so happened that I, w I had to move out of my place. He had to move out of his place and we were moving into a good sized home. So we're like, you know, what? I think, you know, let's try it. Yeah. You know, so now it's been amazing. It's been so convenient because we both, you know, work together mm -hmm. so I you know it just depends on the situation and of course I'm in love with Don so if you're not if I wasn't in love with him I would definitely not make that move yeah but yeah would you say it's more productive more productive that you guys are living yeah. together for sure for sure yeah because it's different like I remember when I'd sleep at his house and I'd wake up and I have to rush home because I have to get ready and it's like that inconvenience of waking up extra yeah. early and driving home and I'm like looking crazy like I have to hurry and get ready mm -hmm. you know it's just easier I wake up and we both brush our teeth I'm like okay let's get together what are we doing today you know so it's, it's just easier and too like also if you're traveling and he's home like yeah. you're not worried about anything right. and like vice right. versa mm -hmm. so it's that's nice also it's like yeah. you're like yeah I'll, like we have two people taking I'm care of things. Yes. Speaking too. out of um, experience, she's like, <laughs> she's like, yeah, I, I love when I leave. Away. Away. <laughs> I want to sit on my head. Is yeah, the house taking watching care of it. everything? Right. Yeah. I but I mean, right? Would you advise her like being young and not in love, and you want to move in just for the sake of money? Like, no. I don't think it's smart. Moving is hard. I hate moving. So it's like yeah. you're gonna probably move out. So might as well just yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Just what about save you, Summer? The, what are your thoughts on boyfriend girlfriends living together? I agree with the whole, like, loving, you know, like, if, like, me, I, like, would like to, like, I have my own house and stuff, so it's, like, I don't want to be there alone, because I think it's 
really unsafe. Mm -hmm. So my boyfriend lives with me because it's more safe. Right, right. (laughs) So as a girl, I think that it isn't safe for a lot of women to live by themselves. Like, it depends on... It depends on your building. Yeah, exactly. It depends on so many different things. Right. But in my, like... um, life <laughs> it's better for me because it's like it's safe right Dur- it's like safe and as well as me so yeah, yeah I and you just good. love being with people too <laughs> yeah i can't, yeah, go, to dude, I can't even go to the bathroom by myself <laughs> i literally i literally like I gotta, i'm like i gotta go to the bathroom and then man's like okay okay yeah i'm like right, no I gotta, i'm like no i gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> go with me, go i'm like with eating me. i'm like oh you know, you want me to go with you? Okay. Yeah. You have a dog though, because like my dog would follow me to the I bathroom. Have three. Oh, there you go. See, you're they're good. little did tiny just, things. Did you just recommend she brings her dogs with her to yeah, the bathroom? Yeah, like my dog goes with me to the bathroom. Oh, at home they go everywhere yeah. with me, but I'm like when I'm in a restaurant, I can't be like. Okay. On, I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about in like real life situations outside of my house. I can go to the bathroom by myself. Actually, yeah. when I'm home, I'm like, dude, stay away from me. If you ask I'm gonna be me, up here. You're gonna be down here. I'm kidding. If you ask me on break to go to the bathroom with you here. I'd be like, Summer, you, you really got to, we got to figure this out. Because <laughs> that's the end, thinking that I can't go to the bathroom by myself in I my know. own house. I'm like, really? <laughs> it's like, fine. I mean, everyone's you. different. She's just like not judging. It's okay. She's like, you know no judgment. That's why she's such a good friend, too. It's okay. Everyone has a reason. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, I think like to sum up that, it's like if you're not in love, if it's not a good situation and you're not ready, but mm-hmm. there's always an um, exception to every rule. Yeah. So, Would you say yeah. you're clean or messy? I would say that me as a person, when I eat and stuff, I'm messy. And then, <laughs> but then <laughs> I like to clean, <laughs> but I have so much stuff. You guys have so much stuff. Yeah. Like, I can't even get, like, with dishes and stuff, like, yeah, do, she, but like clothes, like with she's clothes about. I'm so messy. Yeah, yeah like, no clothes I have is understandable so much sometimes. stuff. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. my bathroom's messy, and it's not because it's, like, a messy, like, gross messy. It's a right. messy because I have so much stuff. It's like a clean messy, not a, a dirty messy. messy. No, I get that, yeah. I, like, I'm, I love, like, just... Getting rid of things. I hate it. I'm, good. I'm a hoarder. Yeah. Really good. I'm I'm just, I like I had to go, go through that phase show. of yeah. getting rid of things. <laughs> I should go on the we hoarder show. We should do show. an episode just going we through should. the house and just like it's getting so rid of things. It's so hard. I've learned to, to let this. things go mm-hmm. when I move. Yeah. You know? oh, when like I move, I it's like, I don't want this. In, this is not yeah. worthy of my new place. <laughs> yeah. But... A lot of things are very worthy. Yeah. <laughs> I can wear this in like three years. Like it makes sense in this particular Halloween costume. My whatever. thing is like my pa- my mom like had so many cute 80s clothes and stuff. And she always mm. tells me about that. Oh my God, it was so cute. I had this, I had this. I'm like, okay, where is it? I want it. She's like, oh, I got rid of it. I'm like... <laughs> I'm never going to do that no. to my kids. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. let my kids have all my stuff. I'm going to mean to my girls are going to wear all my clothes because I'm going to keep them all for keep, her. She's going to keep, oh my gosh, your house. She's going to, if she, I'm her have plan a huge room. is to keep all the clothes until she has I want kids. My, my when kids they're are old see a enough picture, to wear like, them. Oh my God, I love that outfit. I'm like, good. I've got I it for have you. a yes, whole house full that's of good. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm like, gonna actually, love that. I have it for you. Because I'm going to love it. You should pick the, like, the, Prime items, though. Yeah, but I have I have clothes thing. from when I was a kid because I want them to have my kid clothes That's and so my baby cute. clothes. And that is cute. That is. So you need cute. a storage unit. Oh, I have one in Colorado. Oh, you do. I have a too. huge storage unit, like full in Colorado. We need a, what's I'm that, have one in what's the lady's name that had the Netflix show? Has the Netflix show? No, I know what you're talking about. She talks Everybody about like her. letting things go, and yeah. if this brings you joy, then keep it. If it doesn't, then oh, let it everything go. brings you joy. I know. I'm like <laughs> everything brings me. I'm very joyful. <laughs> no, I'm just saying for the organi- organization part yeah. too. She also had a method where you like throw everything in a pile, and then just to see how much stuff you have. Oh my like, god! Just so you realize. It's oh, I realize it's it's an everyday struggle. Yeah. <laughs> I can't like get things clean because like my closet is like doesn't matter how much I organize it, it still just looks like yeah. crammed. Yeah, I have a room for a closet and a normal closet. Yeah, so. I have to have it like organized some way. It, it like gets messy when I'm trying stuff on and packing and all that, but then other than that, I like to just clean it, or else I have no idea where my clothes are. Yeah, and I won't know what I have. Yeah, and I'm gonna end up going shopping again. Yeah, and I know the same that's thing. like yeah, I I'm organize like, oh, I it by I like had this. color. And by yes. like style, and then I'm like, all right, we're good. Yes. <laughs> no, Amanda's feels like good. her closet's like filled to the brim pretty much. So she's like, I can't get any more things. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't want anything. Only things that I like. <laughs> but you know what's funny? I don't know if it's just me. Like we have all these clothes, right? And especially they're gifted to us, and so we have a bunch of piles of clothes. But do you ever just end up wearing like 
the same thing. Same thing. Dude, I wear like the same thing. I'm it's like, like these gross so pairs sweat. of sweats. Right. I literally was about to say this gross like, pair of sweats that I always, because I know they're comfortable and I just put on like a t-shirt and I'm like, yeah, exactly. This, this, and then you have all these good. options, but yet you go back to what we wear all the, the unicorn time. Unicorn onesies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, onesies, <laughs> leggings, workout clothes, like that's all I wear. Sweat. Yeah. And uh, I have so many clothes. I'm like, oh, and in your head when you're like going through it to get rid of it, I'm like, no, I'm definitely going to wear this. Actually, I <laughs> might wear it tomorrow. Yeah. No, Never. <laughs> that's so funny because I, when, when I uh, went upstairs when you were showing me your house, I was laughing because it's the same thing how you have this whole closet. Yeah. And I'm like, where's Johannes? Oh, it's in the other closet, like yeah. in the other one. And yeah, I'm like, oh, it's just like me and Don. Because when they come to the house, I literally have a, I made a room, a closet. Yeah, so which I is bought incredible. like Ikea shelves and I hung all my clothes. Mm -hmm. And then Don has his walk-in closet. It's a really nice walk-in closet, but everyone's laughing like, dang, she has a whole room. It's like a closet, a little it's, closet. It's oh, yeah. normally always it's, like that where a guy a needs thing. like 10% of what the closet space. I would say yeah. like five. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, 10 is nice. I know, I was like, 10 is <laughs> really yeah. generous, girl. That's so funny. It's just so funny how that works. Yep. Have you ever had a girl roommate? Um, no. No? I moved out of my um, mom's house and then moved here. Actually, for a second I did, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you were in the house. Oh, no, I was, oh, yeah, I lived in the house. I had a yeah. girl roommate. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, don't I even like, know my no, life. I just I'm like, remember, wait, wait, too. Wait, wait. She's lying. Yeah. She had a roommate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've actually had a lot of Pro roommates. <laughs> There's now that I think online. about it. I remember. Wait, yeah. now that I, I was thinking more like from like a, one, a girlfriend one -on -one, roommate, like one-on-one. Like, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. I lived in like a big house, so it was like, but the house is so big that you don't even Someone's see like that. Someone's like an apartment complex. Right. So. Yeah, that's like, what I'm yeah. saying. It's about the space. It's about space. Because everyone wants personal space. Every single person in this room and like, a huge mansion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was in college, my first year, I had a room with this girl that was like the complete opposite of me. Mm -hmm. And oh, um, wow. like we never, we never, but it was super easy. Like we are on different schedules. She would leave. I would come back. Oh, I then it can work like that. But yeah. it was, was it was cleansing? one room. It was a dorm room. So it was one room and two bunks. Oh, interesting. Like right next to each other. Because I was like, what's the cheapest room I can get in college? That? Great. So, Dang. but it, it was, so I'm meeting like, out. but I would get so jealous because um, she would have like all this incredible like uh, food in her fridge. Mm -hmm. And, and then I would always just have like ramen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I would always look over and be like drooling. I was like, oh, that looks good. <laughs> Did you guys ever have to write names on your like food so that no one We had, ate it? we had those mini fridges. Like your own? Yeah, that you put under oh, okay. the bed. And was she clean? Yeah, she was actually clean. It wasn't bad. But, like, you mean, want your me space and, um, after Amanda a Amanda can point. never be roomies. Yeah. <laughs> just be, it's just be, you know. I would have so many rules. Wash your hands. I would have so Because I'm just yeah, like, but the fact that you're like, okay, you yeah. know, it's fine. Like, it's compromise, yeah. you know. I think everyone has their says and, like, what they like, what they don't like. It, it turns into a thing if I would be like, Summer, wash your hands. Because it made sense. Like, there was a lot of stuff on there. And then <laughs> I was eating a macaroon. Yeah. So it's fingers, like your yeah. hands were sticky. And then, and macaroni. She's so like, like I, I like my fingers yeah, are clean. Sticky and sweet. That's yep. true. And then I say, Summer, oh, you got to wash your hands. <laughs> and I'm like a child. I just walk. I just waddle over to the. You're like, mm, it's fine. Yeah. She's like, yeah. Mm. She's about to have sticky fingers again. We're going to eat donuts after this. I know. Yeah. Oh. I'm like just a messy eater. Like, I don't know why, but like, I don't have any other thoughts in my head other than food. When yeah. I'm eating, like I, love food. I don't care who's watching. Like I don't ever want to. That's great, though. That's a good. I'm just like I love food. How are your dates um, when you go on dates? My mom, my parents. Okay, this was like a thing that my parents would say my whole life. Because when I would eat spaghetti when I was a kid, because it was probably even worse. They, my mom and dad said, Summer, if we ever have a boyfriend, like you have a boyfriend we don't like, all we're gonna do is invite him over and make spaghetti. Really? Oh, my God. He's gonna be gone. I guess. I'm like actually no, they love it. <laughs> I, am, I am really messy with food too though. I'll end up with it in my hair. Yeah, right? I like, always have it in my hair. Yeah. Like I cannot wear white for the life of me. Oh, yeah. All my clothes always have stains. I have like 20 different stain <laughs> removers in my laundry room. Like I always get on Amazon Same. and I like order That's different so ones. Funny. Because I'm like That's hilarious. <laughs> we were wearing uh, robes in one of the podcasts and mm. there was like a bright yellow stain on one. I was like Oh, Summer, you got it something. It sounds like pee, but it wasn't. <laughs> I know, bright yellow stain on the butt. I'm like, Amanda. Who's like, I swear knows? it's not pee. Oh, it's yeah. not. It's and not I'm like, lemonade. it was turmeric. It was oh, like a turmeric yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And That's she's, so funny. And her first thought was, oh, you have stain remover? <laughs> it was like so I'm like, like, I, I'm like, I have stain remover, sorry. So what, what are your pet peeves? Like, 
hmm. with people because I feel people like everybody or has them. Relationships. Oh. People. I think maybe relationships as a whole, maybe boyfriend, friends, everything. Yeah. Pet peeves is like humans. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like. What are my pet peeves? I think mine would be. I don't like um, hearing. That's a hard. It's funny because I, I, I probably them. do it. I have Smoking them cigarettes. Yeah, I don't like cigarettes. I hate when I hear people chew. Like I don't like it. Oh yeah. But I do it. Too. Like I even hate it when uh, I do it. I like listen to me do it. I'm like shut up. I hate it. But then I'm like, I I yeah. It's the same. And then or, people feel like self conscious around me. Like, and the more they try not to. <laughs> like. But my mom, when she's chewing, it sounds like a water. She has this thing where she has to do each. She chews oh, yeah, like I don't 20, like that. 30 that... times. And then yeah, it's like, right that's like a ear. water. It's like, it sounds like a waterfall like in her mouth. Snack. Like the food turns into water. I'm not kidding. Ew, like, stop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I the, hate the listeners that. Are like, yeah. Yeah. They're like, tune off. They like, so many viewers like, yeah. exit the chat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, too much. Too much. ASMR. It's a mukbang. <laughs> What's yeah. it called? Mukbang? Mukbang. That's so funny. And mine would be smoking, well, smoking cigarettes at while while you're eating, like at a if you're at, at a, a restaurant, restaurant. Like yeah, yeah, I don't like that either. That or, you know, I don't know if this is a pet peeve, but I really hate it, and it irritates me um, when people tell me what to do when I'm already doing it. But I don't think that's a pet peeve, is it? No. Maybe like, yeah, it's just something I don't like. That's yeah. a pet peeve. Yeah, like I hate it when they're like Leanne, like. I just don't like people telling me what to do when I'm already doing it. Like, yeah. especially when my mom says, Leah, make sure I'm like, I'm doing it. Yeah. And they tell you over and over again. I'm like, I already did it. I'm doing yeah. it. That bothers me. Like, yeah. I don't know if that. I feel like I do that sometimes. I'm like, did you do this? Like, yes, you I, did this? I did it. I did it. I'm just making sure you did it. <laughs> do you do it? I didn't see it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. please don't ask me. <laughs> I hate that. I yeah. don't know why. Um, and dirty it. fingernails. Yeah. I don't like dirty mm. fingernails. You're like, hmm. I mean, actually, I need to we get my nails done. lunch. So. But, like, you know when you're, like, you have the nails and it's, like, all black underneath? Oh, yeah, and then, yeah. like, you're sharing food or whatever. Chip, you're just like, oh. Yeah. That's that. bad. And when I have fake nails, I don't really have them very often because I don't really like them. But I have, like, a toothbrush in my um, shower. Yeah. Like, oh, there you go. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I did this good. Because, like, when, how else are you right. really going to get under there? Yeah. Right. Like, and maybe by the sink have one too because stuff's gonna get under there it's just life you know the girls who like the long <laughs> it's just ones like, it's like, it is what it is <laughs> yeah yeah it is what it is these yeah. are our claws i think it's mainly just chewing with your mouth open yeah too. oh the mouth or even open. just it's that. always mouths I'm like, stuff don't eat stuff. around me. But it's always funny because, you know, when you love someone or really, like, anything they do might not, even your biggest pet peeves might not even annoy you with them. Yeah. But then when you don't like someone, I don't care what they're doing. Anything they anything. do. Anything. It's not even something that so, like, just everyone does. Right. I feel, right. I feel like that happens, though, even if you do love them. Like, right, right. Then little things can start, even though it's so little and it doesn't bother you. Mm-hmm. Like, little things that they do can start to be like, all right. And right. sometimes <laughs> it's just a mood. That's, sometimes it will bug me, and then sometimes it won't. But it's yeah. like when it does, I'm like, Ugh. Like, you know, like, the feeling it gets, like, it makes you, like, actually, like, cringe. Like, you have to leave right. you get, like, a feeling, like, up your neck. You're like, oh. yeah. What about being <laughs> on time? Are you good with time? I'm better with it now. Yeah. I used to not always. Yeah, be I good feel like I'm it. better too. Yeah. I'll be. Uh, Don you're always does gets upset with me. Like, He's like, "You're not gonna be ready on time." And I'm like, "Ooh, that's a challenge." Yeah. I'll get ready so fast. Yeah. But Ooh, that's a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I I don't get I don't get annoyed with if people aren't on time. Mm-hmm. In, I unless like I'm like reiterate how important it is. Right. Then I right. then it'll be annoying. Right. But if I'm just like. I agree. Yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just little things. But is there anything that, like, you would say that's different ever since you moved in with Johannes? Um, like, is there a difference from when you guys weren't living together to now? Like, is there anything that you feel is better or not as great or anything? Yeah, well, we've, we've been living together for the past, like, year already mm-hmm. when we were at 1600, Oh, that's too. right, yeah. Yeah, because... And in a studio apartment with one bed, like no furniture, all my stuff in storage. Wow. Like, and yeah, so it was, that's when you really get to know somebody. For real. It's like yeah. when you're in one little space together for that long of time, <laughs> I'm like, okay, we can handle for sure. more than this. This is great. <laughs> it's a good test. But yeah, I, he's always been the same nothing has changed about him that I've noticed Mm -hmm. I travel a lot too Mm -hmm. like 
and it's I feel like it's good to be with somebody and but I also think it's good to have that time on your own too mm -hmm, of just mm -hmm. like because I, I see couples that are literally always together on everything that they do and I think that's great but they should be comfortable with being apart too mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. and I feel like sometimes that extra bit of space whether if it's you go to the grocery store right. by yourself yeah or like yeah. even just like little things like that that prevents like tension and those little annoyance and right. things building up because you get to miss them. Yeah, or, you know? and that's one of it's the not best like, oh, feelings. Not like he's at the grocery store, I miss him so much. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I need to get home. I know. Yeah, <laughs> it's good to have that space. Yeah, for sure. Even like me and Don do a lot of stuff together, but we do things apart too. Like I work out at a different gym that he does, mm -hmm. um, and you know I have my girls' time, he has his guys' time, but. For the most part, we enjoy doing stuff together. Like we love watching movies. We love food. Yeah, we eat That's all the, the time. Best bonding. It's the best. Like yeah. we love to eat and, and the most dangerous. Like at yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> same time. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's always like the food and the Netflix. Right. And right. that's the, like date night. But Netflix what? actually has horrible movies. What? Really? No, I it's don't hard think to it's find. just a hard. It's a hard um, selection because you see all the good ones and then they don't we like... spend like an hour change. looking like which That's when one? you know you're watching Netflix all the a time. Lot. <laughs> uh, that's why. We don't, I don't have like normal cable. We have like Hulu and that. So it's like... Yeah, I think... I watch, we watch a lot of movies and stuff. So then we like have nothing and then you're just like lowering yeah. your standards. So I'm like, okay, why am I watching this? Do you guys have an all-time favorite romance or chick flicks? Do you guys go on dates? We do. Yeah, like but you know what's, dress up, get ready, go on a date. We do that every now and then, but I feel like we have so many events that we go to, it feels like a date. Like yeah. We'll get dressed together and, and like we'll figure out what we can wear to match because that's like our thing. And it's then we so go cute. out to eat after. So it feels like a date, even if we it's don't just plan a it. Date. Yeah. Yeah. It's a productive I date. noticed Johannes likes to match with me more. He likes to. It just looks good in pictures. Yeah. And it's cute. But it's, you know what's so cute is that I'll get ready and then he'll come out and be like, no. And then he, he'll see. <laughs> they'll pick their head like, okay, that's good. Cool. Yeah. And then he'll come out in like the same color. That's so cute. Yeah. And yeah. so he like does that on his own and I don't have to stress about that's doing awesome, it. That's awesome. Because usually guys don't like to do that. Yeah. Johannes yeah. is all about it. That's amazing. And it's the sweetest thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about that match life. Yeah. Yeah, see, exactly, clearly. Yeah. You have to match. Yeah, Summer I mean, does no the same thing. No one's, on, <laughs> no one's on that match life more than me. Than what if I show up in the same thing because I call the producers? I'm like, hey, can I get this? Yeah. Is that outfit the way? The next one, we'll get you the same outfit. I, I want yours, though, too. That's so, we should do onesies one next this time. Is the onesies. Yeah. Let's do onesies. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. do you and Bennett ever match? Um, yeah, we match all the time. Yeah. The matching shoes. We have matching That's shoes. That's cute. Oh, Goals. The shoe game. I love it yes. when the shoes match. Yes. I think that's the most fun. We always so match cute. the shoe life because you know that got the um, goat that the oh, shoe app. Oh yeah, yeah. We just like get matching ones on there. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, nice. like swag shoes that match that uh, people yeah, stop like you on the street and be like, nice. Is there okay? So, would you ever date anyone like say they're amazing but they dress really bad? I think you can change that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, clothes aren't permanent if they're right. like glued to. What them. if they don't want to change? They like, I feel like, like sometimes wearing. I'm just gonna girls, burn all like, their clothes. Job. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> At the end of it, it's like, right. Okay, let's improve this. Like, baby, look good with this. You should wear it. Yeah, yeah. And like, uh, someone's asked me before, like, I have this issue. I hate how he dresses, but I don't want to like offend him because you know, guys, you don't want to hurt their ego. Like, yeah. baby, you don't know how to dress. And I told her, like, just take them out to the mall one time and, like, hey, try this on. It looks so cute. And yeah. just compliment them. Like, And yeah. they always end up, like, for real? And then it, like, really? changes okay. their mindset. Yeah. They're like, yeah. I look good in this, so I'm going to wear this. Exactly. Yeah. Like, she likes me in this. So yeah, she sometimes guys need the advice from girls. But Bennett, yeah. I hate when he wears hats just because he has, like, beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. And I love his hair and his hairline and stuff. He wears a damn hat every day. I literally tell them, take the damn You're like, I don't want that. You know what's funny with me when guys get haircuts? <laughs> and then they wear a hat. Right now, though. Does that ever happen? What? Guys, like, get their haircuts, and then they wear a hat. Like, what's uh, the point? Yeah. Like, why? I don't know. I'm, like, <laughs> clean on the I just go back to mine's like, bald. <laughs> I, I know, right? Like, she's like, she's like, she cannot relate. She's yeah. like, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, like, trying. I love the yeah that Amanda says when she cannot relate. When she says, yeah. when someone says something and she does not agree yeah. with it, she does this, it's, like, very faint, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can't go like, wrong yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. It's like very like. Uh, yeah, like I. Yeah, good. Yeah, good for, for you. you. <laughs> yeah, for you. 
It's like, mm, <laughs> yes, yeah. for you. you. Know, it's really funny when I see Amanda when she's uncomfortable or awkward. She just laughs, and I do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she always does it, but it's not like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, with the yeah, it's, it's like, so good. it's not like her real voice. It's like, it's like a breath. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys for <laughs> so what funny. else about me? <laughs> she's like, what is there? Tell else? me more. But I notice it because I do that too sometimes. Yeah. Just and like, or then the number one word is like, oh, you're so crazy. Yeah. And you can literally say that if you don't hear what they're talking about. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. I don't even know when what When I don't about. think something's funny, I do ha. I do like, you know, like ha. <laughs> exactly, like, you laugh. You're just like, ha. it just heals everything. Does Don uh, listen very well when you're speaking to your conversations? You know what? We have our moments. Sometimes I'm like, are you listening to me? I'm not repeating that. I had a whole explanation. You just did not hear me. Like sometimes we have those and sometimes... Yeah. We really listen. So it yeah. just, it depends if we're focused. Mood. And if they yeah. don't, yeah, that's how I am you know, too. I'm, I'm like, if it. you didn't hear me. It's over. That's that. Yeah, I'm not we, saying it again. Yeah, we can't keep doing this our whole lives. <laughs> <I know. laughs> the mouth opens, you listen. I know. Yeah. Right. Sure that. All right. Yeah. Well, I think that is it for today for our Oh Honey podcast. We're yeah. running out of time, but Leanne is incredible. You can find the links to all of her stuff. She has, she does so much, and she's so good I at all of it. I like 20 links. I know, like 50 <laughs> links below for Leanne. <laughs> right. But, Thank you, um, guys. So check them out, and if you're listening to this podcast, make sure you check out the YouTube so you can see the video when you have some time, when yes. you're not driving and to work. And if you're watching this video... Thumbs up mm -hmm. and subscribe. And subscribe. also you can listen to us while you're driving or working Ooh, out or doing anything or at dope. work. Yeah. <laughs> On Spotify, iTunes, Apple Play. Is that a thing? Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. <laughs> Apple Anywhere podcasts. that you listen to podcasts, you can find us. Nice. And send in your diary entries at diary at ohoneydiary.com. We love you guys so much and love bye you. For now. Thank you guys. Bye. Oh, honey. Mwah. Love you guys. Let's have donuts. <laughs> yeah, donuts. Oh, honey. Oh, honey.